our joint stock company for the production of pharmaceuticals, has been producing effective preparations for the treatment of infectious and inflammatory diseases for 20 years. For production we use various pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP, unit for dehydration of aqueous solutions, and extracts in a fluidized bed apparatus, rotary tablet machines, automatic line for packaging tablets into plastic film, and foil and other high-tech machines and apparatuses. We successfully supply our products to the CIS countries. I work at the company as a leading production technologist. Six months ago the company management decided to expand the sales market and supply its products to Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. In order to enter the Baltic market, our company planned to expand production and increase the production of tablets for the treatment of infectious and inflammatory diseases. According to the production technology tablets, should be further packed in a blister, which preserves the tablets from the powder from the environment. We planned to produce tablets with a diameter of 13 millimeters. We wanted to purchase a machine that could produce different shapes if necessary. Classic, oval, shaped tablets and rings with an inner opening. A tablet press is used to automatically produce tablets by pressing in molds of tablet mass. Since we decided to test the popularity of our preparation in the Baltic countries, we needed a small press capacity of 9,000 tablets per hour. It was up to me to choose the tablet press. I wanted to complete the task in the shortest possible time, in order to be able to work on another problem, that unexpectedly arose in the tablet powder production area. A breakdown of this equipment meant a work stoppage in the entire site, which I could not allow to happen. So I started looking for a tablet press, and I thought I would find the necessary equipment right away. I decided to look and compare the manufacturers of machines in Europe and China. I did my search through the internet. I chose by location, delivery time, price category. Among the quality European manufacturers, I found three companies, which offered good machines, but requested a very high price, which did not include the customs clearance procedure. I understood that the management would not approve the chosen tablet press and would send me to search again. I then looked for equipment from Chinese manufacturers. There were more options here. I sent emails to them indicating which machine I was considering as an option to four equipment companies in China. However, only two responded to me. One company indicated that such equipment would not be produced for five months, and the other sent a response in Chinese. The period of five months did not satisfy me. It was too long, and none of our people speak Chinese. I didn't want to spend time and money on an interpreter, so it was decided not to buy a car from a Chinese manufacturer. I realized that I could not solve the problem of buying a pellet press on my own, so I decided to turn to a specialist intermediary. I had an idea what kind of machine I needed, so I only paid attention to the reliability of the company. I chose several intermediaries on the internet, one from China and two managers from Russia. I made my choice by looking at the company's websites. The length of their work in the market for supplying pharmaceutical equipment, positive customer feedback, and the relevance of their prices were of great importance. At first I called the Chinese intermediary, his presented price for the machine was lower than the others. I received a response from the manager, who specified that the price did not include customs clearance, delivery and installation of equipment. The total amount for the machine was much more than presented on the site. I was not satisfied. Then I studied the site of the Krasnodar company more attentively. I looked at the prices and the terms of delivery, but I was alerted to the fact that this company is also engaged in the delivery of shoes and crockery from China. I wanted to find a specialist in whom I would have confidence and who would deliver me a tablet press within the specified time. I decided to look at the last option of a middleman from Moscow. In advance, I checked the company in the database of entrepreneurs in Russia for litigation for the period of activity. This company did not appear in these lists. I liked the company's website. It was modern, structured, and had a lot of videos. I called the manager and got a good consultation about different variants of tablet presses. I was satisfied with the delivery terms and price and a week later, we made a contract for the delivery of the tablet press. The manager emailed me a video of the machine before shipping the equipment. The equipment is made of solid stainless steel. There is access to all parts of the press from all sides. The working area is covered with transparent plastic shields. There is stepless adjustment of the pressing force and capacity. The tablet press came in two months. The machine has an electric motor, as well as a debugging wheel with a handle. The powder is fed from the hopper through a feeder. As the press rotor rotates, the powder is fed inside the matrix, where it is pressed, and then the finished tablet is pushed to the surface. There is a control unit on the body of the press. After talking with a real professional, I became a bit smarter myself, and learned a lot. I am absolutely sure that a good teacher, 
is one whose words and deeds do not differ. I check this on my own experience.